Hello, and welcome to Board Game Ninja. This is a quick refresher for the game Pandemic, a run through of the rules in just five minutes so you can start playing straight away. Let's dive right in. Pandemic is a classic from 2008 in which you try to save mankind from viruses that wreak havoc around the world. You win the game immediately when you develop a cure for all four diseases that run amok. You lose when there have been eight outbreaks or when the tokens of one disease run out or when you run out of playing cards. It's a tough battle. You play on a map of the world with important cities connected to each other. The top right corner contains the infection rate, how serious the world is infected, and the infection draw pile with all the cities. This is the outbreak indicator. Whenever an outbreak takes place, the indicator moves one down. Put a marker on this track when you find a cure for a disease. Here is the player draw pile. Every player starts with a few cards in hand. You use these to find a cure, travel around and build research stations. You start the game in the research station Atlanta. During the setup, several cities around the globe are already infected with infection markers. These cities are placed in the infection discard pile. On your turn, you perform four actions. You choose between these actions and can even do the same thing several times. 1. Move. Drive or ferry to the next city connected by a line or shuttle from one research center to another one. Travel by plane by discarding the city cards you want to travel to from hand or to any city by discarding the city card where you are standing at the moment. 2. Build. Build a research station in the city where you are standing. Three. Treat the disease. Remove one token from the city where you are and put it back into its stock. If a cure has been discovered for this disease, you may remove all tokens from a city. When you manage to delete all tokens from one disease from the board, the disease has been eradicated completely and it will not come back. 4. Share knowledge. Give or receive the card of the city you are standing on to or from another player in that city. 5. Discover a cure. Discard 5 cards from one disease from your hand in a city with a research center. Now a cure is found. From now on it will be much easier to cure that disease, which is an important step towards winning the game. After your 4 actions, you take 2 cards from the player draw pile and add them to your hand. You cannot have more than 7 cards in your hand, so play an event cards or discard down to 7 cards. Event cards are positive actions that help the mission. They can be played at any time. Event cards are shuffled between the city cards. Depending on the level you are playing, there are also four or more epidemics shoveled in specific places in the city pile. When you draw one from the pile, the epidemic gets worse. Move the marker one space up the track, take the bottom card from the infection pile and place three disease markers on that city. Next, shuffle this city card with all the cards from the infection discard pile and place them on top of the draw pile. The epidemic is discarded and the player does not get a second card. The last step in your turn is that cities get infected. Look at the level on the infection track and draw that many cards. Each city that you draw gets an infection marker of the right type. If you ever need to add an infection to a city that already has three, you don't add another, but instead you have an outbreak. The outbreak marker goes one up and the virus spreads to all cities connected to this city. They all get a marker in the color of the virus. You better contain these outbreaks because after eight outbreaks, you lose the game. You understand that the composition of your team is of the essence. Each character has a different special ability that is unique for them. For instance, the medic removes all disease markers from a city when he treats a disease, and when a cure has been developed, he removes all disease tokens automatically without spending an action. Now you are ready to start playing or play again. Subscribe so you can find us again for the next time. Good luck and game on!